In the following past paper question, uh, the question states that which compound on reaction with hydrogen cyanide, which is HCN, produces a compound with a chiral center. And you're given four options. Now the first option, option A, is, uh, is ethanol. It's CH3CHO. So let me draw that. It's going to be cetyl bond O and H. And this carbon would be bonded to three hydrogen atoms. So this is ethanol. This is option A. Now, what happens when a reaction with ethanol uh, with HCN takes place is that this carbon has a slight positive charge. So, CN minus one ions are going to be attracted to this particular carbon atom. And as the CN approaches this carbon atom, it, it is coming, it has negative charge. As it approaches this particular carbon atom, uh, the electrons in the double bond get knocked away, they get repelled. And what the final product is going to be. So as you can see, this CN has now gone and attached itself to this carbon atom. This carbon atom had a slight positive charge. So CN minus 1 went and got attracted to this carbon atom and eventually bonded with it. And as this negatively charged ion approached this carbon atom, the electrons in the double bond, they got repelled by the negative charge coming from CN. So these electrons, they get repelled. And so, so this double bond breaks into a single bond and all the electrons in the double bond, they get repelled and oxygen gets a minus one charge. Then in the second step, this oxygen has a negative charge. So if an HCl molecule approaches this, HCN has a slight positive carbon atom and a slight negative uh, CN uh, group. So this oxygen, the electrons on this oxygen are going to be attracted by that particular hydrogen and the electrons in this bond would get repelled because of the electrons because of the negative charge over here and eventually what happens is that this H gets bonded to this oxygen atom this oxygen minus one uh, uh, group over here it gets bonded to this hydrogen atom and this over here is going to be my final product uh, the CN was already attached and the oxygen the negatively charged oxygen at the top eventually bonded with the hydrogen coming from HCN and formed OH. This is called nucleophilic addition. Whenever, whenever HCN reacts with an aldehyde or a ketone or any group that has a carbonyl compound, C double bond O, the CN goes and bonds with this carbon atom and the oxygen at the top becomes an OH. Uh, it becomes an OH group and the double bond breaks, it changes into a single bond. So this is your final product. Uh, now, what he's asking is, which compound reaction with HCN produces a compound with a chiral center? A chiral carbon is uh, generally that carbon that makes four single bonds with four different groups. When it does that, it does not have a plane or a line of symmetry, and it ends up forming two versions of itself, uh, which are mirror images of each other. I'm going to explain that later. First, I'm going to decide whether there is a chiral carbon atom or not in this product over here. So there's going to be a carbon atom that would be making four single bonds with four different groups. So if you look at this molecule over here and look at this carbon over here that I've marked, you would notice that this carbon is making four single bonds and it's making four single bonds with four completely different groups. There's an OH group on one side, there is a hydrogen group on the other side, there's a CN group on one side and there's going to be a CH3 group on the fourth side. So all four groups are different and this carbon would be chiral and uh, it's uh, if you draw the three dimensional uh, representation of this carbon over here and show the three dimensional bond angles of this molecule you would notice that this carbon over here has no plane or line of symmetry so it's going to be existing in two forms which are going to be mirror images of each other. I'm going to draw that and explain that to you later but uh, option A is going to be correct. Because which compound on reaction with HCN produces a compound with chiral center. So this compound is reacting with HCN and it is producing a compound that has a chiral center. Now let me explain to you what this chiral carbon is going to look like in three dimensions. Now I've drawn uh, three dimensional arrangements of this particular chiral carbon atom. Uh, as you can see this carbon was bonded to OH on one side, CN on the other side, H on one side and CH3 on the other side. Uh, this is the three-dimensional version of that particular chiral carbon atom. Uh, carbon, whenever it's making four bonds, it has a tetrahedral arrangement where it's making uh, uh, bond angles. All the bond angles are going to have an angle of 109.5 degrees. 
and this over here is a tetrahedral arrangement where one bond is coming out of the page and one bond is going into the page so all the same groups are attached around this carbon atom it's exactly the same carbon atom but a three-dimensional representation of that carbon atom so this is a three-dimensional version and this is your chiral carbon and i told you that uh, whenever you have a chiral carbon atom there's no line or plane of symmetry so what happens is that there's going to be another molecule which exactly looks like the molecule on the left so there's going to be a mirrored version of that molecule in that mirrored version uh, the bonds are, uh, whenever uh, you see your image on the mirror, the, the image is laterally inverted, which means that the left hand and the right hand side, it switches. The same happens with this molecule. This CH3 was going out of the page uh, on the left side. This, was, this is now on the right side. So the left and right hand sides have switched. And whatever you do, wherever, whichever way you rotate this molecule, this molecule would never look exactly like this molecule over here. So this is your chiral carbon atom. And there would be two versions of this molecule. Uh, both would be mirrored versions of each other. I'm also now going to discuss why option B is incorrect. Which was uh, this uh, pentanone molecule. Where you had CH3, CH2, C del bond O in the middle. CH2 and CH3. If it reacts with HCN since it's also a carbonyl compound. There's a C double bond O, so CN uh, gets attracted to this positive carbon atom. And as the negative ion approaches this carbon atom, tries to bond with it, the electrons in the double bond, they get repelled. And CN gets bonded to this carbon atom, the double bond breaks and oxygen gets a negative charge, which then attracts the hydrogen from HCN and ends up forming an OH, uh, OH group. And that, uh, so this carbon over here is now bonded to CN and it's also bonded to OH. But this carbon atom is not going to be, this one over here is not going to be chiral. Reason being that uh, for chiral carbon atoms, uh, it should be bonded to four different, completely different groups. So it is bonded to OH on one side, it is bonded to CN on the other side. But on two sides, it's exactly the same group. There's an ethyl group on the right side and there's an ethyl group on the left side. Which means that uh, although it is reacting with HCN, it means that this will not form a chiral uh, compound. And if you move to option C, what's wrong with option C is that it's an ester. It is not, it is not a ca uh, chiral, it's not, it's not a, ca a carbonyl compound. There's no cedal bond O, there's instead an ester group. And esters do not react uh, with HCN. So C is never going to have, it's not going to have a reaction with HCN in the first place. And when you move to option D, option D has the same issue that option B has. So I've drawn the reaction of uh, this compound methanol, where there's only one C, C del bond O, and it's bonded to H. It's a carbonyl group. CN minus one gets attached to this carbon atom. The electrons and oxygen get repelled. And your final product is going to be this structure over here. And remember this structure over here, uh, this carbon is not going to be chiral. The reason why it's not going to be chiral is that it should be bonded to four different groups. But over here, two groups are different. But uh, on two sides, you have hydrogen bonded to it. So they are not different, which means that this is also not going to form. Although it's going to react with it, but it's not going to form a chiral compound. So option B and D, they react, but they don't form a chiral compound. Option C simply doesn't react. It's only option A that is reacting and forming a chiral, chiral compound at the end of the reaction.